Welcome everyone uh, to the uh, Fokutir uh, sessions on uh, Commvault uh, Symphona tutorials. Today's session is uh, how to uh, create a, a, a how to add a library, okay, to, uh, under the uh, the com cell. So um, I already uh, logged onto the server, and you can see the com cell console is open, and uh, under the com cell browser, uh, you have to. Um, you have to uh, browse to the storage resources under uh, you see uh, libraries okay so I already I mean if you select the libraries currently uh, I don't have any library added uh, let me tell you uh, uh, and see we can add various types of libraries one is the uh, the physical uh, tape library or the the disk based uh, tape library something called as a, a virtual tape library if I right click on here, click on add, see, we have three different uh, categories. One is a disk library, that's what I'm talking, um, where you can uh, configure your local uh, uh, local disk or any other drive, okay, as a disk library. And the second, second thing is the cloud storage library, you can configure that too. And the third one is a tape library, which is a physical uh, tape library, what we have, for example, like HP or uh, Dell libraries, what we have, PTLs or. And uh, currently, in our current uh, uh, session, I will uh, show you how to configure the disk library, okay? If I click on disk library, okay, it's asking for the name of the library and uh, the media agent you to select if you have, uh, multiple media agents you can select which one currently I have only uh, one uh, master server that is this media media agent also and the local path the device uh, the disk device okay as I uh, uh, mentioned uh, earlier you can select which drive or which folder okay you can create a new folder under uh, any uh, local drive and I, I never tried any map drives but yes uh, you people can try if you have uh, so I've, uh, click on new folder okay and uh, my first disk uh, library click on okay so um, yeah this is the folder that we created click on okay so that is the the disk device local path Yes, you can also mention as a network path here or something. Okay, we are not trying. So, uh, my first disk library. All right. So, uh, just click on OK here. So, that will create a disk library. Uh, a virtual tape library for us so we can configure our backups depending upon the customer requirements depending upon the size of the local disk drive okay please ensure that we have enough disk drive the recommendations from my end as far as my experience goes at least keep uh, uh, the, the size of the the total size of the backup if it's like 100 100 GB I recommend you to go for a one terabyte local drive or at least 500 GB. Please ensure that you have enough space. See, so uh, the library is added and it's showing ready status and the manufacturer is disk and the model is disk because it's a, a disk library. Okay, so um, the mount path is nothing but the local uh, uh, the C uh, the, the, the folder that we created. Okay, that is the uh, so this is the uh, the device name and uh, it, it also shows the the free space under that local drive and the total capacity of that disk drive currently I'm using the local C drive okay so you have to ensure that uh, I mean you know you should have a dedicated local drive like E or a F or a T for these backups disk disk backups and currently we don't have any job and uh, so that's the reason why the media agent is not showing up all right so this is how you will configure a disk library under Commvault Symphona so if you look at the the properties okay you can also check view contents delete contents share mount path 
delete mount path properties let's see what do we have under the properties here so all right so this is what the uh, the properties uh, uh, pop-up window so under general it is giving all the mount path uh, they see uh, the folder name and the free space discount size capacity you can also add your description like say because in 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 some customer environment customer will create different disk libraries for different backups for the sql different for exchange different for uh, windows file for linux they create different it's easy to for uh, easy uh, for them to manage okay and use unbuffered io you can uh, check and uncheck that one too and currently you can um, you know the the status it, it, it it's showing as uh, ready okay and you can uncheck that one if you uncheck this one the library will go offline okay and device enable disable this is what sometimes if you want to disable so that the backups are not using that or you're running out of space you can disable the device completely so I will show you how to do that okay so uh, the next thing is the allocation point hello maximum allowed writers or you can configure uh, allocate number of writers or depending upon the uh, the disk you know and uh, space allocation uh, see uh, you can also configure the threshold and don't consume more than let's say you have uh, 100 GB you can mention it as a don't consume more than 50 GB so only the backups will use only 15 GB okay 50 GB yeah. and uh, see uh, this fragmentation you can also um, you know uh, you can increase or you can decrease the the block size right block size the bigger the block the faster the uh, the performance the for the performance tuning but let's go with the default value is 128 and the deduplication of db is currently it's not configured and the sharing path it's not shared okay so this is it will list all your uh, media agents and the path and everything so um so these are the uh, the properties for the uh, the disk library if i want to make it offline so what should i do okay and uh, i mean the reason why sometimes you have to make it offline because let's say i have a maintenance going on and i want to reboot the comm cell server so in that case you have to first uh, suspend all the jobs or if you don't have any jobs then you have to you can bring the, your library uh, you know just for the uh, uh, as as a to be on a safer side so um, all right so if i click on uh, uncheck this one and click on uh, okay it will show as offline now see it's showing as offline now disk library see the status is offline okay so this is how you will make your uh, disk library offline and um, you can also mention the comments so someone is actually you know uh, so they can check why it is offline and everything so uh, again uh, select the enable mount path the library will be uh, online so you can also there is a difference between disable and offline okay if i uncheck this one and click on okay so the device is disabled now it's offline and disabled okay so enable mount path It is disabled but it is online it is disabled so it's still showing as offline here because the device is not enabled see the device is ready now so you have to try all these combinations and this is how uh, you have to learn new things okay so this is about the, the detailed uh, and uh, the other thing the, I mean till now uh, we have checked uh, how to add a library now I will show you how to delete uh, the disk library in some cases you have to you know the customer says hey I want to I don't want to this disk library 
uh, I want to uh, use the uh, the particular local drive for other um, backups. So in that case, what you can do is you can just right click and you can select delete content. So it will delete everything what is there in that. Just type uh, erase and uh, reuse media. So it will delete all the uh, the uh, the contents uh, in that particular uh, folder, the your local drive. Once that's done, what you have to do is delete mount path. Okay, if I delete mount path, let's see if it is deleting or not. So depending upon the, the size uh, of the uh, the data, it will take some time to delete because currently we don't have data. So it just, you know, uh, it happened within just, you know, a few seconds. But normally if it's, let's say, uh, in, the, in the real environment, customer will have uh, 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 gigabytes or uh, terabytes of data. So it will take some time for them to delete. So uh, it, it says, um, see, see um, the library, I mean, the, the mount point got deleted. And now you can uh, highlight, the, uh, highlight the, uh, the disk library and click on delete. So without deleting the, uh, the content, without deleting the mount point, you cannot go and delete the library directly. It will not allow you to delete. That is the, the three-step process. Okay, so um, so that's it, guys, for the uh, uh, for the library part. So the a quick uh, uh, a quick recap of what we learned in this session. We learned about uh, creating how to create a disk library, how to uh, uh, change the, uh, the the settings of the disk library, and how to delete the disk library. Okay. And uh, currently, I don't have a, a physical tape library to show, but uh, yeah, in future I will. And uh, let's talk about the the cloud storage library. So uh, the cloud storage, you can give the same thing. My test uh, my test library and the supported cloud devices are Amazon, AT and T, uh, CA Store, China Mobile. DDN, Dell, EMC, Hitachi, Microsoft Azure Storage, OpenStack, Rackspace. So if I'll select a Microsoft Azure, it's asking which and the information what we require for the uh, uh, to configure your uh, Azure storage is your account, that is your subscription name, your access key, your uh, verify access key, the container. This is the storage container. So all this information you will get from the your Azure uh, subscription portal. And for the um, AWS, let's see what is asking. It's asking uh, the access key ID, the secret access key, and the verify, and your storage bucket. And uh, if I select, um, what is the other one? Okay. The rack space is asking for the uh, username, API key, verify API key, and the your storage container. I mean, uh, before actually, uh, uh, I mean, um, configuring adding your cloud storage, please ensure that you create your own container in your uh, 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 your vendor uh, subscription portal, uh, rack space, or in Microsoft Azure or uh, Amazon Cloud. Okay. And the advanced, if you have a proxy server, you can use that. Okay, so that is so. This is how you'll configure cloud storage. And um, the uh, final, the third one is a tape library. And uh, let's say what uh, currently we don't have any tape libraries connected to the uh, to the master server, so it will not detect anything. But however, I'll just click on uh, scan hardware. So once it uh, uh, scans your hardware, it will detect your tape library, okay? So that you can go ahead and configure that. So this is how you will uh, configure uh, your uh, libraries under uh, Commvault Symphony. 
and if you have any technical queries please use the comment section and uh, subscribe for more Comball Symphona uh, tutorials and uh, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day so